All right, students, this video will be going over Math 3, Section 2.7. And the core concept here is writing quadratic equations. And you'll notice they give you two different forms, vertex form and intercept form. Uh, in previous videos, we discussed uh, how to use those both for graphing. This time, we're going reverse. They have the graph, and they want you to find the equation. Okay, so essentially, with most of these problems, they're going to give you two key points. In this case, they give you the vertex, so we'll want to use vertex form. And in the other example, example two, they gave you the two intercepts and then one point. Okay, so depending on what situation you're given, uh, that will determine uh, which equation you use. But predominantly, we're going to use these two equations for the homework. So the homework for 2.7 is on page 96, or you'll just find it in the online book. These are all essentially the same. Um, they'll give you a point and a vertex, a point and a vertex, a point and a vertex, a point and a vertex. Or they'll give you two intercepts and a point, two intercepts and a point. So one, if you see one of them, they're pretty much mostly the same. So let's go ahead and choose one. Uh, we'll do number five together. It's essentially the same as this. The main thing is which point do you plug in? You have to make sure you use the vertex uh, and plug it in the right spots. I'll show you on the paper. All right, so here's problem five. The equation passes through uh, that point and has a vertex here. So again, since they gave us the vertex, we're going to use vertex form. Okay. The other thing to notice is this. Okay. Um, you want to always use your uh, graph uh, paper um, and write these problems down as you do them because. Um, even though we're doing with an online book, you want to show your work and get used to that habit of the, doing that. So anyways, uh, the other thing I was going to say you need to notice is that these two points are different. One's the vertex, one's the X and Y. So what this is, is you have five, five different uh, variables here, but you're really only ever searching for one. So you have five variables, but you're searching for one of them. What do I mean? The point is just some X and Y. That's your X and Y. The vertex is very specific. Vertex is H and K. That's sort of from the definition of what vertex form is. They use H and K as the vertex. So the numbers they gave you plug in for H and K. The numbers they gave you for here plug in for X and Y. And what are you looking for? You're looking for A. That's what we're after. So let's go ahead and do this. Y was 8 equals A times X was 13 minus h was 3 k was 2. okay so write down all these things and make sure we don't make any mistakes 13 minus 3 is 10 plus 2 or 10 squared is 100 so 8 equals 100 a plus 2. all right and now we have basically a two-step equation. We're solving for A, that's what we're doing. So, I'm sorry, subtract two from both sides and get 100A equals six. Divide by both 100 on both sides and you get A equals six divided by 100. Um, or if you divide both top and bottom by two, you get three over 50 equals A. So, not quite done with it yet. That's the value of A, but that's not the actual equation. Again, the equation should look like AX minus H squared plus K. A has to go in there in the equation. So 3 over 50. X minus H is, again, they gave us H. That was 3 and K was 2. So 3 and 2. Let's K up to 2, not K, 2. So if you graph this in Desmos, it should go through those original points. That's how you can check it. All right, so if you graph those in Desmos, you can check that. If you check it in the book, I believe they put 0 0.06x minus 3 squared plus 2. That is also the same thing. So, But again, if you check this in Desmos, graph this equation and this point, it should work. And let's check that real quickly. So over here in Desmos, I 
typed in the equation we found. There it is. You can verify the vertex is 3, 2. Okay. And the point 13, 8, here's how you can do that in Desmos, 13, 8. And zoom out, and there it is. It is right on there. Okay, so the vertex, as well as the point that they gave us in the book. Both of those are there, and we have successfully solved the question from the book. Again, there was 13, 8, has vertex 3, 2, and we did exactly that. So now you can find the equation for any parabola. And parabolas are the shapes for uh, satellite dishes and all kinds of useful uh, things. So now, now you know how to do that. Now the next thing is the intercept form. Now if they give you two intercepts, um, it looks like it's actually more work. They give you two intercepts and then they give you a point. Let's go ahead and use that one. We'll take number 11 and do that as our last example here. So there's the key information. Okay, so x intercepts for intercept forms a x minus p x minus q and p and q stands for the intercepts i don't know why they chose those and then this is just some random point i don't know what it is it's x and y it's just any old point okay but what has to happen here this has to go in for p and q okay uh this has to go in for x and y and as long as you plug all those in wait what do we not know we do not know A. A is what we're searching for. So let's go and plug all that junk in and see what we end up with. Y is 4. X is 14. P is 12. And then now here we have a problem. X again, we have X twice. X is 14 twice. It's the same X in both situations. Minus Q. Well, Q is already a minus. So what do we do? It's a minus minus. Okay. If you're going to make a mistake, that's most likely where it is, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right. So just be careful about those negatives. Okay. So 4 equals A. 2. 14 minus minus 6. That becomes a plus. So that's 20. 4 equals 2 times 20 is 40 A. All righty. If we divide both sides by 40, we get 4 over 40 or 1 over 10. Okay, now 1 over 10 is not an equation, or it is an equation, but it's not, it's not what we're graphing here. What we're graphing is y equals 1 over 10. Again, going back to intercept form here, putting our values, 1 over 10, and then x minus p, x minus q. So again, P was 12, Q was negative 6. So minus and minus negative 6 would be X plus 6. There's our equation. Again, that's just X minus H, X, sorry, X minus P, X minus Q, and our original values of P. Oh, didn't realize we could still see it there. Okay. So what we do is just plug those in there. All right, now it's all messy, but you get the point. Now let's double check this, make sure it did actually work. Okay, make sure it hit all the points we said. Let's go check it into Desmos. So there's my point, or sorry, there's my equation that we just I just typed in already. Um, this is that we just finished. And negative six is our intercept and 12 is our intercept, just like we said. And then the point the book gave us was 14 comma four. And that is, in fact, on there, on the graph. So that way we know we did it for sure, correctly. Okay, so I would encourage you to double check your answers on Desmos. It's very visual. It's a good way to see that you're correct. And if you made any mistakes with the positives and negatives here, you would know because you'd be in the wrong location. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, email me with any questions on your homeworks. All right.